Hello. Today I'm going to show you the difference between a Hello World program written in C and a Hello World program written in C Sharp. So to begin with, let's write a Hello World program in C. I'm just going to use um, my favorite uh, command line text editor here. And let's write this up. For anyone who knows C, this is obviously a, a pretty standard exercise to do and not very interesting. Uh, hello world exclamation point and let's do a new line okay so we have a hello world program written in C this is C source code you can see at the top we have uh, included a library called stdio and that's the standard input output library it gives us access to this function called printf which will take a string and print it to the screen other than that we define a main function and we call it and return zero so let's uh, save this out and let's exit now you see I have this hello C program sitting in my directory to compile it I'm gonna call the GCC compiler and I'm going to pass it hello.c as input and I want to specify the name of the output file so I'm just going to call that hello so this executes rather quickly since it's such a simple program and now you see I have this hello file sitting here in my directory and it's green because it's executable which means I can reference it uh, like that and just type hello and we'll run it and you'll see it says hello world so um, What's actually happening is that it's not running the code I wrote here in hello.c. The compiler, the call to GCC, translated hello.c into this file hello. And hello is uh, the machine code version of this file. So it's what the computer actually knows how to execute. To take a look at that, we can just use the program objdump. So for object dump. And I'm going to look at hello and I'm going to pipe that into a program so we can scroll through it. So this is uh, what's called the um, the assembly code for hello. So what I've done is I've run this through a, a disassembler and we can actually look at the individual commands that are being sent to the processor itself. Uh, each processor is going to have its own instruction set with things such as push, sub, add, move, uh, those sorts of things on there. Um, this is literally the assembly code for an x86 processor, which is the type I'm running on my computer. And, um, and this is the code for displaying hello world to the screen. Uh, it's actually quite a bit lengthier, as you can see, than what we've written, but that's also because we've included uh, STDIO. So this is what the computer actually reads. Uh, you can actually write code like this and then just call an assembler to turn it into machine code. Um, and you can probably understand why people don't prefer to do that. It's much, much easier to write code that looks like this. So that's just a C program in a nutshell. Um, now let's do a similar thing with C Sharp. So for C Sharp, I'm going to once again create a hello.cs, CS for C Sharp. I also capitalized uh, hello in this case simply because that's more the C sharp standard is that your file names and class names are all capitalized so let's do that um, instead of an include statement we're actually going to use a uh, using statement for system that's a, uh, a standard um, it's part of the standard dotnet framework libraries so I'm going to include that and that will give us the ability to read and write to the screen um, because C Sharp is kind of an object-oriented language, there's a couple other things that we want to wrap our main function in. The first one being a namespace, and I'm just going to name that test. And we also need to put it inside of a class, and I'm just going to call the class hello. Oops. I need to set my auto indent on at some point. Um, and now I'm actually going to create that main function. So I'm going to make it public static void main and it's going to take an array of strings as arguments. Which we're going to use. So um, from here, we've, we've gotten to the same part as our C code where we have our, our structure. Now we just have to write the code. And that's a pretty simple thing. Console.write line. Oops, keep typing the wrong thing. 
and we don't have to include the return character because we're calling the right line method. So that should be good. Uh, I don't see any errors there. Now to compile this, we're going to use the command line compiler given to us by the Mono project, which we call with GMCS. And I'm going to give it hello.cs as its input. And it compiled, no problem. And now you'll see we have this hello.exe sitting here. Um, when we create a, a .NET executable, it always adds on the extension .exe. That fits with the Microsoft standard for executables. So I can actually run this one just like I ran hello. So hello.exe will just run, and it prints out hello world to the screen, just like hello prints out hello world to the screen. But uh, there's an important difference between how these two function. Now, .NET, uh, what it does is it compiles uh, C Sharp into an intermediate language called CIL. Uh, and then that CIL is not actually executed directly on the chip, it's executed on an application. In this case, uh, on my Linux system, it'll be called Mono. So let's call the Mono program by passing in hello exe, and you'll notice it does the same thing. So what the program Mono does, or uh, in Microsoft's case, it's just the .NET framework, is that it translates the intermediate language that hello exe has into assembly language. So to show you that, I'm actually going to call mono dis, which is the mono project's disassembler on hello exe, and I'm going to pipe that into less. And this will actually show us the CIL code that our C sharp compiler converted our code into. So you'll see it's a lot more, it's a lot smaller and more simple than the assembly code that we saw in the C application. And the truth is, this is not assembly code. This is an intermediate language. And you can kind of see, here's our namespace test. Um, down here is a, the method we created uh, called main, um, our class of course, and then you can actually see kind of the code where we load up a string calling hello world and then we call that system.console write line um, method to actually display it to the screen. So this is our actual, uh, our actual code that is taken by the mono just in time compiler and then compiled on the fly and executed on the chip. To see what the output of that compiler is, we can actually call mono with the AOT uh, command here, and I'm going to say hello.exe. And what that did is it created this hello.exe.so file. Um, that actually is basically the same thing as our hello.c. So if I want to look at it, I want to call objdump again this time on hello.exe.so and once again pipe that into less so that we can scroll through it and now we actually get to see the regular assembly code for an, X8, uh, for an x86 processor that will actually get called on the chip so um, because mono or because C sharp is a higher level language uh, you have to go through a couple more steps to get all the way to the chip, but you get a couple more uh, benefits in the meantime, specifically memory management, which is a much larger issue. But uh, I really just wanted to show off the difference between a Hello World application written in C and a Hello App World application written in C Sharp. Thank you for watching.